welcome back to another of our indulgent chaotic cast videos with the Blythe family. Uh, I did one of these where I basically was creating the children of Anne Shirley and Gilbert Blythe. We did Jem, who is this gentleman here. We did his younger brother Walter and we started working on his twin sisters but we only got through one because I am slow. And that's Nan Blythe. You think? Because I wouldn't, you know, I'm not actually carving, carving, oh my god, sculpting these sims. It would be a little bit quicker. No, it's not. Ignore their clothing. I don't care. I'm doing what I feel like. This is pure self-indulgence. We're just here to have fun. So today we are actually going to be working on the next girl in the family who is twin to Nan. They are not identical twins, but we are working on Diana. Now she goes by Di. She has red hair, greenish blue eyes, and fair skin. She is her father's favorite because she has green eyes and red hair with kind of swirl to it. And she looks the most like her mother. Also, why wasn't I getting this face sculpt before? This is literally what I wanted for Nan. Fine, fine. She also has freckles, so we want to keep that in mind. But let's see if we can't get... Ooh, that's pretty close. Those are not Anne's eyes, but I'd say that's pretty dang close. So let's go with that one. And I'm gonna give her a freckly skin tone because she's described as having very freckly skin, just like mom. swirl to it, so we want to have curly red hair. And I kind of like the updo. I've, I've, I've been looking at this wanting to use it forever. And yeah, I think it's perfect. She actually might have some pretty decent eyes for greenish blue. Also, I just realized I haven't changed like the eyebrows on anybody, but I'm actually pretty happy with all the eyebrows everyone's generated, so. I do want to give her different lips. I don't like the lips that are on the skin tone. Is that all I need to change on her? Okay, we're being quick. We're finally being quick this time. This might be a shorter video. We'll see. I thought about giving her pigtails just like re-emphasize that she looks like her mom but I'm not gonna do that we definitely cannot put her in pink though because that was like a thing that, like she's like oh I can't put her in pink she's a redhead we'll put her in that I don't really remember too much about Diana other than she was like playful and fun so let's just make her a pleasure sim oh gosh I don't know I don't remember I don't remember when in doubt hard worker educated doesn't like gray hair Next child. We have another boy this time. This is Shirley. Uh, he has brown hair, brown eyes, and actually is described as having brown skin as well, so he's very tan. Uh, Shirley is, you know, brown haired, brown eyed, and brown skinned with very rosy cheeks. He's also described as a little brown boy. So after his birth, I guess Anne got really sick. She was also sick after Jem's birth and after the birth of her first child who did not survive, Joyce. Um, but yeah, Jem, or not Jem, oh goodness. Shirley was actually raised by Susan and it's kind of like her favorite and she's more his mother than I would say Anne is. Like when Anne went to Europe, he actually went to go stay with Susan rather than at Green Gables, that kind of thing. Like he really is almost Susan's kid. And she like won't let him be spanked and kind of that kind of thing. So I think that's interesting. There's not too much of a description as to what he looks like. He's also just like dead practical. Like he is 
when they're describing the boys going to war and everything. Like, he just went because that's what needed to be done. And he's like, all right, guess I'm going to go to war. That's what I'm going to do. That's what we need to do. Whereas, like, Jem was more romantic about it. And Walter, you know, he had his own issues. But, like, no, just, no. That's what I got to do. That's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> he's a practical bean. And he's also the only one that came out of the war kind of, like, unscathed. I think I'm just gonna do... It's hard when Sims are, like, tanned. Because, I mean, technically he wouldn't have a different skin tone than his whole family. He would just be tan. But you can at least show that. So I do think I'm just going to give him a darker Pooklet shade, but it's still the same family as most everyone else has, so he, it works. I'm also glad he looks like Gilbert, because he wasn't really described as like being excessively handsome or anything, and I know Gilbert isn't described as being attractive, obviously, in the books, but I just want Shirley to look a little different from his brothers. And I like that hair on him. I've been, I eyeballed this hair before we started, and I was like, that's the one that I want to put on him. It's the right kind of brown. And now we need brown eyes. I'm thinking these. I am gonna change his eyebrows. I think he would just have like chunky brows. Not those. I need a chunk brow. I need like brow and capital letters. I wish you would not smile. I, I wish you would not smile from the bottom of my heart. Let's just put him in brown clothes too, just to go full circle on it. I could. Let's do it. Brown. <laughs> We're gonna make him a family sim. He seems like the type. I have no idea. I can't remember who he gets with, so we're just gonna... Brown boy. Okay, so our last sim... See, I told you this one was gonna be quicker. Which is good, because I had other things that I wanted to do and I wasn't sure if I had time, but now I can be even more self-indulgent. And you guys are gonna get a bonus video, because I wasn't supposed to make this, so I didn't schedule for a second part, so this is just gonna come out on a random day. Works out. But our last sim, officially, for the official part of this self-indulgent nonsense, is Marilla. So Mar Bertha Marilla, aka Rilla, who is, she's actually the only one of the kids who gets her own book, which is Rilla of Ingleside. And that focuses on her when she, the war kind of begins sort of thing. I mean, not when it begins, but she's 15. She's kind of like the dumb one of the family. Not really, but like, she's fine with it. Like she's kind of like, whatever. Every family needs kind of to have a moron. It's okay, all is well. Um, she's described as having reddish brown hair, hazel eyes, and fair skin. She had a great, she had great dreamy hazel eyes, a milk, uh, milky skin. That sentence doesn't work. A milky skin dappled with little golden freckles. Weird. Delicately arched eyebrows, and it gave her a demure, questioning look, which made people, especially lads in their teens, want to answer it. Her hair was ripely, ruddily brown, and, and a little bent in her upper lip looked as, as if some good fairy had pressed in it with her finger at Rilla's christening. So we have a good description of her. I kind of like, I was gonna roll, but... I think we're gonna start with this, and then I'm, because I don't really want her to get Anne's long face. Like, I kind of want her to have the shorter face, and then just really edit her more than we've edited the other ones. Okay, so I want to make sure, I don't think this is freckled. Is it freckled? It is, but is it freckled in a way I like? Yes, but I don't like the eyes on her. No. 
no, and where did her teeth go? That's horrifying. Me and teeth today. I'm not, I'm not having a good tooth day, apparently. Which is fitting, because I never do. But. How about that? I can work with that. Okay. So, reddish brown. I think we'll... Should we start with red and see if I've got like a reddish brown in here? I think that I do. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe these are all too red. I might have to go to brown and see if I have like a reddish shade in there. That's kind of like a reddish brown. Do I want to give her a braid though? I didn't really say she had curls, but I love this hair so much I kind of want to give it to her. Alright, I'm going to get her hair out of her face for now. Canceled, so I'm gonna get her hair out of her face for now, and then we'll work on it. So delicately arched eyebrows. Can you please not smile? Just, just don't smile. You're just gonna continue to smile. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to be happy anyways. That's 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 fine. That's that's fine. It's fine. I want these a little bit closer together, I think. And then... I think the funniest thing that I remember about her is when she has the war baby and she's like trying to raise a baby with a book and she, everyone's just kind of like, okay, Rilla, you do that. But they also want to keep her busy, so they're just letting her do it. And I'm like, Y'all really just said, you know what? She needs a hobby. Just let her have a baby. <laughs> like, she's 15, and they're just like, let her have someone's baby. I mean, someone's got to raise it. Might as well let this child have a child to just see what happens. She needs something to distract her. And I'm just like, um... Um... Maybe not the best choice. Maybe not the best choice. Especially when everyone's like, I don't think this is a good idea. But we're like, we're going to let it happen, obviously. She's the daughter of a doctor. So, yeah, y'all. Y'all maybe should not have, like, allowed that to happen. Just saying. Choices were made and maybe they should have considered. Because even as a kid, I was like, but wait a minute. They're just... Because everyone in the book is like, I don't think that Rilla should be allowed to have a baby. <laughs> like, everyone. They're just like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not so sure about this. But then, like, just no one stepped in. Everyone's like, no, just, I mean, she probably shouldn't have it. But we're just, you know, we can't be bothered. It always interested me. What color are her eyes? Hazel? That's, yeah, that's one thing that always struck out to me. I was just like, what? She's just like, I'm gonna raise him according to this book. I'm just like, why is no one stepping in? People should probably have stepped in. And just like, maybe done a little more than they did. I mean, yeah, they did make sure the baby didn't die, I guess. But like, just saying, just saying. You had a whole basic nanny living with you. You could have just been like, hey, Susan. Shirley's gone. Here you go. Ha here, have, have this. Have this whole baby right here. Here you go. Congratulations. Because I'm sure she needed a distraction too. But oh no. No, 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 no. We're going to let the child, who's 15, and we're all very worried about to begin with. We're just going to let her have a baby. We think that that's a great idea. Not even have a baby. Like, just randomly raise somebody else's baby for a little bit. Just saying, I'm just saying. I love the characters. They made some bad choices. I think it was a bad call. It turned out okay, but like that could have turned out very badly. I 
can't imagine if some if I was 15 and they're like here and like I came not even here like if I came home and I'm like I think I'm gonna try to raise this because there's you know the mom died there's no one no immediately someone would be like I'm gonna take this away from you because you're a child and should not be raising a child no matter what you think I don't care time period be damned like no She's also described as having, like, very long eyelashes as a baby. So I'm like, is there a way I can, like, eyelash it up here? Do these look better? I think these look better. Oh no, not those. Oh no, not those. Okay, just the top ones. The top ones is fine. dent in her upper lip. That's such a weirdly specific thing. So I'm gonna make the dip in her upper lip just really deep, I guess. I see how like it's a deep, deep, deep V. <laughs> That's such a weird, weird, weird thing. But also kind of realistic, like Whenever people get, like, crushes on another person, it's always, like, some random thing that the other person half the time probably doesn't even notice about themselves. Or, like, they'll notice in passing that someone else is, like, massively obsessed with, and it's just, like, you're obsessed with the dent in my lip. Okay. Okay. Like, just something weird is great. Human beings are so weird and wonderful, and I appreciate it greatly. Okay. Rilla. I'm putting her in a princess dress. I, that, that's happening. Should I put her in like a frilly one though? Or should I just put her in like... I, I don't know. I knew princess dress, but I, I had not actually gotten this far. This isn't really a princess dress, but y'all know what I mean. That's a princess dress. That's also a princessy dress. Put her in something like that. Let's do it, why not? Okay, so I do remember some of her personality. So she's not really the neatest. She's very outgoing, very playful. I'd say she's pretty nice, probably kind of lazy. Definitely a pleasure sim. I don't remember what Kenneth Ford looked like, so I'm going by the standby of hard worker, educated. Uh, what would he not be good at? He's not a robot. Okay. So yeah, she had she had to look a little questioning, like she's it's a little dumb, and that's okay. I, I support that. So, we're gonna pause really quick, because I am gonna save these guys, because I do... I just want to save them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put them up for download, necessarily, because I think... I might not put an... I might put Anne and Gilbert up for download, I don't know. If you guys want the kids, let me know in the comments below, and I can definitely put them up for it, but I want to save them just in case. So give me just a moment. Okay, we are back. I accidentally ended the other video instead of pausing it, but that's okay. There shouldn't be much of a jump. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. Where did everybody go? Don't worry. They've been saved. But, since we have the time, I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of a bonus. I wanted to make her anyways, but then I was like, oh, we're not going to have the time. But guess what? We have the time now. So, the sim that we are making, oh my god, she's so cute, we're keeping her immediately, is actually going to be Joy. Okay, Joyce, this is Anne Gilbert's firstborn daughter who did not survive. She was born in the House of Dreams and she actually didn't survive the birth. So we don't know too much about what she would have looked like. All we know is she had gray green eyes and was very pale and she was described as living from dawn to dusk. So we really have kind of free range from how she looks but oh my god this is like the cutest sim that I've ever seen in my life so huh, we're keeping her. I'm gonna fix 
her mouth, just because Gilbert has kind of like fine lines in his face, but it looks weird on female sims, especially young female sims. I want to give her, I think, curls. I'm gonna keep the black hair as well because none of the other girls have black hair, only Walter does. And I know he's supposed to be like, what was it again? A hop out of kin. But since I gave Gilbert black hair, like, it makes sense that at least one of the girls would have black hair. So why not Joy? And Joy's one of those characters that she's still mentioned throughout the whole series, which I do like, like, just because she never really got a chance to be a person. Like, sometimes you do see stillbirths or babies that died young, like, they just never mention them again in stories, which seems so odd to me because you think that the mother, you know, even though it is a common thing that does happen quite a bit more than anybody really wants to acknowledge, like, you're still gonna think about that baby and think about maybe who they could have been or what kind of person that they could have been. I don't want to get political, please, nobody, th that's not what this is. I'm talking very specifically about a child that was fully intended to be born. Like, I don't even want to think about the awful, awful, awful place the United States is right now. Because I'm real mad about it. We're not, we're not, we're, we're not thinking about it. I had a no politics day the other day and it was, it was, kind of, actually it was no, it wasn't just no politics, it was literally no news. I just banished all news. I put on a face mask, I watched Legally Blonde, I just had, I ate cupcakes, just had a really relaxing, fun day. I played with cats, played with dog, like I just chill, chill vibey day. I needed it because the news was a little bit relentless for the past few weeks and holy crap, like I just, no, nope, nope, I was done. I was a little bit done. So highly recommend if you're a little burnt out, just have a no news day. Don't look at your phone, don't look at nothing. Because you kind of can't look at your phone, even if it's like apps like Tumblr, for example. Like, you're, there's still going to be news on there. You cannot escape it. So I just didn't look at anything. I think those are the eyes I'm going to go with. Because it's gray green. I'm going to let her have freckles too. And then I think. Because I want to kind of tie her into a couple of her siblings. So I think Rilla. Maybe not quite that with the lashes, but I want her to have kind of voluptuous lashes there. And then one of the girls, I gave this Tifa kind of lipstick thing. Remember when this was a thing? Like, people wanted this lipstick. I don't know why, but it was like a thing where people like really wanted it for the longest time. And then we finally got it, and no one ever talked about it again. I think that's the one. I don't remember anymore. I just remember like it was a thing for a while. I have my eyebrows closer together. Because they're kind of archy, kind of like uh, Rilla's are. But I wanted to look a little sad. I'm actually going to leave her in this dress as well. But this is not the only person. Let's make her popularity sim. Yeah, this is not the only creation that I wanted to add to this video. The other individual, or rather canine, is Dog Monday. I was very disappointed that I forgot about Dog Monday, and I have not made a dog in The Sims in all year. All year! And I deserve it. This, this is for me. I deserve this treat. I've worked very hard on Adirin to finish the rounds. I'm actually... I was so worried about my vacation because I thought I was going to get behind, and I'm actually... Right now it seems like I'm a month ahead, but really when I come back I'll still be on schedule to finish round one at the end of the year. Which again, seems like, you know, it takes a year to finish a round. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> a Deeran is giant, and not only is it giant, but I had to build all the buildings. You know, you have to assign everybody traits, and then about halfway through I got the height mod thing, so I had to assign heights to everybody. You have to just like... There was a lot towards like the setups. Round one is always the hardest, especially after a rebuild, when you haven't really finished building and you've been impatient and decided to start playing. Round one is even harder. So <laughs> I'm very excited about that. 
So, Dog Monday is described as, Monday was not a collie, or a setter, or a hound, or a Newfoundland. He was just, as Jem said, plain dog. Very plain dog, uncharitable people added. Certainly Monday's looks were not his strong point. Black spots were scattered at random all over his yellow carcass, one of them apparently blotting out an eye. His ears were in tatters, for Monday was never successful in the affairs of honor. So he's just really like a scrappy mutt. <laughs> so I'm gonna base him... I thought about basing him off a lab, because he doesn't really say, like, he doesn't leave out Retriever, Collar, Setter, Hound, Newfoundland, but there's no mention of Retriever, and he is described as, like, yellow, and labs are not known for their fighting prowess, which I need to add breed names back to all of these, which, I don't know if you, I haven't really mentioned it on YouTube, but I was... My Sims creator-ness, I started with dogs and cats, and I'm still very much an animal creator, but I started with specifically medieval breeds because I needed acceptable breeds for my medieval saves, so mastiffs, greyhounds that were appropriate for their time period. I think that's an Alant, a Limer. This was created for somebody whose name escapes me at the moment, I think it might have been Neroni, I don't remember. But yeah quite a few dog breeds, which I'm pretty sure they're all up for download. Like 90% sure. Which lab do I want? That one or do I want that one? That one's got a darker chocolatey nose. Yeah, I even went so far with the genetics because I'm sick. That one's got a black nose and that one's got a chocolate nose because labs can come with both. There's a black lab and then there's the two different colored chocolate and then there's like the reddish color because they can come in that too. But we're gonna go with the chocolate nose. Or should we go with the black nose because he was described with the black spots. Okay. I'm getting too far into it, I know it. Okay, so I do... I'm gonna give him a darker nose, though. Yeah, I'm a problem when it comes to animals. It's not sort of a problem, I just... I get really, really into it. Like, Sims, I can just like... Eh, we're gonna gloss over this, add that, whatever, it's fine animals. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want 15 pages of research. It's gonna take me hours upon hours. That's why I don't record videos of me making pets, because no one wants to suffer that way. Least of all me. Okay, so black spots scattered at random. Almost reminds me of, like, a catahoula. I made this spot myself, but, like, the one thing I hate is that. I can never really fix it. But I like that the feet are a little bit spotty. But do I want to do like littler spots? Because then I could also, it said one blacked out the eye. Is it? Or is it? I just, that one. I think that could be a good dog one day. very plain dog. People insulting my dog Monday over here. How dare you? How dare you? I don't really know how I'm gonna show his ears being like tattered. Also I'm looking in the mirror because as you can see we have some issues with what I can see what I can't see. I think I'll just make his ears real short I think and then maybe not. Can they be potatoey? That's kind of potatoey. Like real short, like just, just. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Dog Monday. Oh my gosh. So I think he's dumb. He's pretty lazy, pretty friendly. Eh. Middle of the road there. Let's give him a collar. It's like a leather collar. So we have created everybody in the Blythe house. I'm not going to create Susan. I'm not going to make the rest of the kids' spouses and the grand- all that. No, I just wanted to create the kids because I was feeling self-indulgent and I wanted to. And so I did. So yeah, let me- oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. She might have to be added somewhere. I- I- that is a cute sim. 
yeah thank you guys so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed these videos like i said um definitely give it a like if you did and i will see you in the next one Ooh.